Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to Selenium Tidbits. So in this Selenium Tidbits, we're going to talk about taking screenshot in Selenium using take screenshot interface. So taking screenshot is usually very important part of automation since we may use the screenshot for validating the screen during execution or verifying if there happens any errors or if there happens any unexpected exception in your application and if you want to see what happened during the execution then you may need to take the screenshot of the particular instance of the error or if you're running any unattended execution or automated run then surely the screenshot is very very handy and very helpful option and very powerful option while automating any applications so in this selenium tidbits video we're going to talk about taking screenshot and how we can achieve this taking screenshot very easily and very simply than compared to writing a very cumbersome course so let's get started and flip back to eclipse so in order for taking a screenshot for any given page or any given time what you have to do is let's write a method and let's start working from there so i'm going to write a method called grab screenshot so let's write a static void grab screenshot and try to pass the web driver instance as a parameter here all right and then all I'm going to do is use the takes screenshot interface if you could see here it's actually an interface it's not bringing it up right now but still it's an interface and then you have something called the drivers instance so I'm just trying to cast it right here and then using Okay, maybe it's not recognizing, so we need to import it. Maybe this yes should be capital letter, small letter. So now if I put control one, is it coming? No. So if I save it, somehow it should bring it up. Let's see whether it has imported or not. No, it has not imported yet. So maybe we should type it manually right here. So I'm going to import the package manually. So the package is org dot openqa dot oops selenium dot take screenshot interface. You see that? Great. And now the take screenshot is pretty much available for us. Super. And what else we are missing? Dot. And uh, do you see that there is a method called get screenshot as? And here the get screenshot as method is very very helpful because it can output any kind of format which we are requiring. It can output it as a file or it can output the screenshot as a binary stream, any format. So I'm going to output this as a file type so here the output type dot you can see it can output this as a file or byte 64 or byte 32 so here I actually expect it to be a file so I'm going to put it as a file type all right great but we need to output as a file then surely we need to have a file class to be called here so I'm going to call this as screenshot file. All right, and this guy should be imported. So I'm going to import the java.io. All right, and then I'm going to use one more utility of files, which will copy the file from the screenshot file destination, which is available in the memory to my local directory of my computer. So there is a utility class available called file utils, which is available from Apache. So you can see there are a lot of methods. Do you see that? 
a lot of methods and I'm going to use one method which is nothing but the copy file and the copy file will have the file input and the output is nothing but the file destination so I'm going to use this guy and the source file is nothing but the screenshot file right and the destination file is nobody else but our computers file directory so I'm going to call I'm going to create an instance for file using new file of I'm going to pass the path here maybe it's d colon double slash uh, let's call this a screenshot dot jpg sounds good great and maybe it's expecting us to add declaration or try catch block so I'm going to just add the IO exception here great so this is the grab screenshot method which will actually grab the screenshot from our screen whenever we call this guy all right so why don't we just try to call this method somewhere else in our code and this is the same code which we have been working with other tidbits as well so I'm gonna call this guy and once I hit the search button I want to see what are the search results which I'm getting from my Google page so grab the screenshot right here so I'm gonna call this guy and we're gonna pass the drivers instance so this is the same driver instance which we need to pass it right here Again, it allowed me to ask me to add the throws declaration. I'm going to just add that guy right now. Great. So let's run this and see how things works. So I just executed it. So it should open the Google for me right now. All right, it opened the Google and it's going to type execute automation for me. All right. It hit the click. It clicked the search button and now if we go back to our screenshot file maybe to our D colon do you see there is a screenshot.jpg file hmm see what it has taken before the page is fully loaded it took the screenshot which is great and you can understand that how fast the screenshot method is performing the operation and I think we get some error here what is this error unable to locate the link test testing frameworks okay before it okay I think we need to add a wait statement right here since it doesn't perform this click operation and it's trying to expect that there just completely ruthless maybe we need to add that one okay let's not worry about that right now because grab screenshot is what is our intention to verify whether it's taking the screenshot or not and it's per working pretty perfectly and this is how the screenshot is being taken in selenium okay guys so thank you very much for watching the selenium tidbits stay tuned for more tidbits coming up have a great day